exercise breaks down plaque responsible for Alzheimer's disease. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, rodent studies have shown uh, absolute proof that if you feed these animals a high fat diet, like a, with bad fats, that the brains of those animals will form beta amyloid plaque, which is the hallmark feature in Alzheimer's disease, and the animals will exhibit Alzheimer's types of behaviors and signs and symptoms. Similar evidence occurs in humans. Higher fat diets of the wrong kinds of fats are linked to a greater risk of Alzheimer's disease. So the, the buildup of this amyl beta amyloid plaque is the problem. This plaque is made out of protein. The protein sort of accumulates between brain cells and can either strangle the brain cells or damage the brain cells in other ways by generating free radicals. But the presence of beta amyloid plaque is a hallmark feature that you see in Alzheimer's patients. Now in 2012, there was this amazing study in the Journal of Biological Chemistry where they fed mice the high fat diet with bad fats and they, the animals developed the plaque, the beta amyloid plaque in the brain leading to Alzheimer's types of behavior and symptoms. And then after they built up the plaque, they took half the, the, the mice and they had them, uh, forced them to do an exercise regimen. And they found that the exercise actually broke down through some mechanism, the amyloid plaque. It actually was reversing the disease. That's a remarkable finding. Now human studies have also shown recently that individuals who are just on the cusp of developing Alzheimer's disease, if they put them into a regular exercise program, that their memory actually improves and it brings them back from the brink of Alzheimer's. We've seen some evidence of this published in the journal of the American Medical Association. And exercise also improves other aspects of uh, physiology related to the disease. So, you know, this is the whole thing around diet and exercise has largely been ignored as part of the, the way that you prevent mild cognitive impairment, the way you prevent Alzheimer's disease. These lifestyle factors mean a lot. So exercise and a low fat diet, where I'm talking about eating less saturated fat, less trans fat, less deep fried foods, having not a lot of total cholesterol in your diet to begin with. These are key factors in the prevention of Alzheimer's disease because they affect many aspects of the disease. And this is not discussed enough in the routine uh, consultation with patients during an annual physical examination, in my opinion. And there are also supplements that have been shown to inhibit the buildup of beta amyloid plaque and also increase the breakdown of amyloid plaque. It's not just exercise that does this. So to really understand this, click on the link below, read my short review article. It gives, sort of gives you the whole story. It's a short review article, but it's, it's very comprehensive. Uh, because Alzheimer's disease is a major problem in our aging population. Lifestyle factors really mean a lot. You'll see the scientific references that uh, I'm referring to in the article, so you'll, you'll know you're getting really good evidence-based information from me from peer-reviewed scientific journals. It's, it's an article you should really take a quick look at. Now, at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, and videos I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you see you're getting only scientific information from me on any topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.